but today is the 16th of July 2021 and we are finally starting work on the second diorama which is going to be John Fratelli's live setup now not exactly but just a mix of his last couple of albums because Costello music, Here We Stand, they had a high watt amps, a lot of pedals. <laughs> now he's got about three, he's got his channel selector, a little bit more easier to make. And we're starting today with his mic stand. Now, <laughs> that isn't bad. It's a little bit out of proportion to the guitar, but I want the guitar to be the focal point anyway, so that might even help. So this is going to be front anyway, the guitar is going to be at the back, just on the, on the stand. As if it's all set up for him to play. So a little update on the John Fratelli diorama. I've not, I've not kept update with this very well at all. Just a few pictures. But it's coming on really well. And today with redoing, this is very rough, the effects pedals. Now, the effects pedals that I can find through, I would say, in your own sweet time, possibly eyes wide, tongue tied, on. They're very minimalistic because it seems to have is a soul train multi-effects pedal probably got all the presets in there so the only ones i can see he has just to the left of him is a, a drop i think that's electro harmonics no digitech <laughs> it's actually printed onto it digitech drop which is like a, a drop tuning um effect is pog from electro harmonics and a compressor which i can i think let's have a look Right, that's that's too small to read. Um, I'll, I'll put the picture on on the screen. But yeah, so I was happy with his drop. That looks really cool, really cool. I've even painted it on the sides, and it, it looks like the actual and underneath. Um, but this is way out of proportion, and the pog just looks horrible. So I'm gonna do them again. I'm even gonna do the uh, the drop again just to make sure that they're all in proportion. So we need those three, we're going to super glue the leads together just so there's no cellar tape and everything is all stiff. I might even make another pedal train. All I've done there, I'm not sure if it's interesting, I've just got a picture because I don't know, I was doing this on my phone so I've basically gone into sketch on my phone, got the PNGs um, of each and just print them out different sizes, hopefully one of them would have fit and hopefully, well thankfully they have uh, for each one so we're going to do those again we've got everything out here <laughs> flashbacks to the command centers uh dial all the control panels and yeah we're going to keep updated so this is us at the moment got everything out we're gonna that's the drop we've got the pog here which looks a lot better oh get that focus that looks a lot better it's only a slight um black line going around i think if i remember right on this one i forgot the black line so i did it freehand and you can definitely tell it looks rubbish so yeah putting them two together you can tell this this one looks a lot better a lot better we've got these little um samples i suppose masking tape and normal scotch tape just to see what's best because i'm going to wrap this this is basically the, the template for it just two pieces of balsa wood stuck together just for a bit of thickness and then sand it down so it's gonna sit just like that albeit in the, in the center 
but I can't do that with one hand. Yeah, so that's my pog. That's the pog. So I need to see which silver, um, which tapes are to wrap the wood in, just so you don't get the, the frayed bits and the rubbish on there. So that's going to look really smart. So yeah, so when we when we find out which one's the best one, well, um, I think yeah, I think that's the masking tape. You can see the lines on this tape where I've where I've scribbled over it. That's just looking very nice, and it's dry. So we've got the outline, basically a, a template of the pog. So I basically just wrap this in masking tape, like just normal masking tape. I'm not gonna do the bottom. I've done the bottom of this one. I think or I might have just painted it. Oh yeah, just painted it. But yeah, I'm not gonna not gonna do that this time. Only because I've used two pieces. You can kind of see there. You go. You can kind of see where the um, two pieces meet there. And I folded it over, cut it just to smooth in the sides out, so you're not getting all this. Yeah. Oh, it broke off. Doesn't matter. But yeah, that's that doesn't look very nice. It's been a couple of hours. We've tried to get the um, three pedals here as crisp as we can, and this I am absolutely loving anyway. Uh, well, you know, other than this weird button thing that I put on, I was happy how that come out. I didn't really think that needed changing. But to slightly upscale that one, that one's going to look too small. And that one just looks too big anyway, compared to them. So we've got, the, um, got everything out, tried to get them all better. And we've gone to that. That looks a lot better. Now I've not done the bottoms of these, only because it's just trying to make it as quick as we can and add the paint because of the silver paint pen, it'd have had to dry on the bottom and etc. But yeah, I might have to just touch that up with a bit of a uh, bit of red. Same one here, and I still need to double check where the actual inputs are for that one. Because this one, I know it's there and there. And we've got the ones on the top as well. That one's got one, I think that's got two. That's got the send. Can't see it from there. No, I'm pretty sure it's got two on that side and one on that side. Um, and then we'll, yeah, we need the ones that are actually plugged into the the power supply. And then we should be good. We've got this little rope, uh, this little thread there. Halfway through making a jack lead, uh, going one side, going to the other. And yeah, it should be looks really cool. Sunday, 8th of August, 2021. It was about half one in the morning. And my John Fratelli diorama is complete. It needs a capo, okay, it's not complete. It needs a capo making, which I made, but it's broke. So, other than that, it's complete. Let's see what we've got. So we've just got the last couple of touches to do on John Fratelli's diorama. We need a capo or another one because the one I made was broke. And I also want to make a fedora because he's now known for wearing like a white beige fedora. And I always think that would be cool to have a hang on the headstock or just put it on the amp somewhere. And I think that would be a nice little touch. <laughs> and it's going to involve sewing. I have never sewed in my life. This will be a bit of an experience, but there was a video on YouTube, which I'll try and link down below. And yeah, it's just making dolls, 
fedoras so I'm gonna say like Barbie size fedoras which I think this is all it's gonna need it's not gonna need a big one but yeah we'll, we'll see how we'll see how that goes on I'm just watching this video on YouTube from Mr. Froggy Stuff so it's how to make a doll size fedora hyphen doll crafts this is basically all, all we need it looks like it's gonna be the base it's gonna be the rim and that's gonna be sewn on top then we're gonna cut it all down and well, trim it all down make it look nice so we'll see how that goes just a little update my very first attempt at sewing was this this was supposed to be the top of the hat until I remembered or I noticed you have to flip it inside out okay so didn't tell you this on the uh, on the video but where it's stitched here I've just gone up and down up and down didn't notice you had to get it as close to the edges as possible so when you flip it out it looks seamless so tried it again that just looks like a burnt marshmallow that's fine I've done it again for a second attempt that is a lot better so that's going to be the top and then same kind of thing we just got to sew it to there cut around and then put a black piece of felt on it and we should have we should have our fedora but after the um, burnt marshmallow there we've got this now that not 100% I kind of messed up on some aspects of it but I think that for the moment would be a great placeholder so I can try and do another one and if I can't I can rest assured that that can just stay there or I did I did think of it just on the amp or something like that. it's a bit artistic <laughs> a little bit of a background on here like I didn't actually expect to do another diorama, let alone so quick. After the very first thing, which was the command center, that took a long time. And I thought, I just want to try and do something totally different. And with the Fratellis being my best band, John Fratelli being my favorite guitarist and songwriter, I thought, let's try this. And my first thing was to try and do my live setup when I used to, I used to be in a band. And I thought I'll do my live setup as a little diorama. But I couldn't get a Olympic white uh, Telecaster from Axe Heaven. So as looking on the Telecasters, I seen the cherry red, um, candy apple red, sorry, Telecaster, what John uses now, or what he's known for lately, he started using, I think it's not the Olympic white, it's just a nice pearl white Telecaster. But every video of the last couple of years, he's used his candy apple red Telecaster. And that was on Act Seven. And so without thinking about it, I bought it and said, "Right, we're gonna we're gonna do this." And I shouldn't have done that because <laughs> it's a long process to figure out what amps he uses, what pedals he uses. There's hardly anything online. You can go on Equipment Board or Equip Board, I think it's called, and it's more for Costello Music, Here We Stand era because he's got his high watt amps, he's got his Tube Screamers, Ibanezes. Um, and it used to have an MD1 boss distortion and it's blues driver. Now all that looks like it's been taken care of with the Soul Train, I have a dialed in or the presets. It had to be Instagram, Google, videos on YouTube, just patience. Just going through them and just trying to piece together with little information, little angles of what pedals were on the board. And at the moment, these three, I am absolutely 100% sure, he has his pog anyway, he's had his pog since, well, probably the start, like Psycho Jukebox era, maybe even earlier. And I, I never even heard of the Keely compressor, but again, because it, this hasn't got any anything on this, is all flat, but it does have four knobs and one of them is white. And that's how I track that one down. I can't remember what I put into Google to get that. And then comes to tracking down his amps. Now this was the hardest part of this diorama or the the um the work that went into it so on Costello music he uses well he used a lot of high watts that obviously transferred into here we stand he had his black beauty a bit more 
Les Paul action on there, like my friend John. He had a bit of heavier sound. And then coming back into We Need Medicine, there was um, quite a lot of videos online of him doing, uh, I think there was an in-studio set for cooking vinyl, because that's who they released it with, uh, for to promote We Need Medicine. And he uses a Kemper profiling amp on on top so he must use his Kemper for the, the lower like uh, promotional uh, gigs you know if he's just gonna do one or two songs or a set small set and for the big big gates there so he has his twin twin reverb he is well known for playing that he's played the Serpra over Psycho Jukebox that's on the cover as well that's the ampest sound and yeah just tracking down and we've got the, the cab that he uses is a Mesa Boogie Lone Star 212 and his head is a Mark V Mesa Boogie. There's just a couple of references I can give you. Um, these are all off YouTube videos, so from 2018, not far back, there's a video of Chelsea Dagger live in San Francisco uploaded by Admiral Nida. In that one, you do see the, uh, the Mesa Booger, the head and the amp, possibly the the, um, the pedals, and it's soul train as well. This is around that uh, in your own sweet time onwards. There, are, there is also a video that the same uploader, the same user has uploaded of I am that now. Just let's just break away from the diorama for a minute. That is a great song, and I've never heard a Fratelli's fan talk about it. That song is fantastic. And I spoke to John outside the academy in Manchester and he told me the tuning that that guitar's in and I couldn't remember it. <laughs> it's, it's a silly tuning that he said Tony Hoffer basically told him. And yeah, so I, I can't even try and figure that out. So it's only took probably about two months maximum. Not really cost me that much other than the actual replica of the guitar. Um, I try and put as much stuff in the link in the description as I can for any any materials I used. But there you go. That's the other stand there, just a little bit bigger in scale. We got a capo on there. He has his silver capos. My very first attempt at me <laughs> making anything or sewing anything. And uh, that's just a placeholder at the moment. I'm gonna do another one. There's the Axe Heaven Candy Apple Red Beautiful Guitar. There's the Mesa Boogie. So again, these are pictures that are printed out. So they're, they're not 3D. It's just all pictures and same on the back. I don't know if I can show you there. We'll try it later. Same on the amps and the pedals. Everything's linked up as if it's all set up for him sides there on the other sides of them not where you'd put your hand there's his soul train and again all the pedals are in a better better size for each other nice and cleaned up everything's linked up with jack cables and this I think that's our Vox cable that it uses very tricky to try and make that But that's just modeling wire just bent around the dowel and spray painted and fingers were crossed let's put it that way <laughs> and this little yellow uh, bit over the jack there i noticed that in a video i'll try and put a print screen on there i think it was it might have been a chelsea dagger one actually uh, um kendall calling so as soon as i seen that i was like well that's got to go in there and i literally made that last night the um amps mic'd up there and yeah, I don't know if you can see, it is actually all plugged in, as it should be. <laughs> the only thing I've not done, which I wanted to do, was do something like um, a wall socket and put, but that's just overkill. Everything's all linked up. That's a little bit of a, more of a stand. It's capo. And the only thing I noticed with this, with the circular base, 
normally he has the ones with three and I, I don't think it's his it might just be from the uh, from the venue but I was going to put this in a dojo from Ikea and having three prongs it was it was it wouldn't allow the door to shut so I've done that and now I've done <laughs> I've put it on there it's actually too big for the dojo so I might just redo the the base on there but it still looks pretty cool and it'll stop it from falling over a little impromptu stage box everything's all linked up so there it is we've got all the Fratelli vinyls quite hard to get to get from Japan but yeah, that's everything. If you've got any questions, want me to run over anything of how to make certain things, possibly the pedals. My mate was asking how we do the pedals. I can do a video on there. If not, drop a like. Thanks for watching.